it's something we've never seen before in solar system comets. Uh, but uh, these are icy rocks that are in our backyard. Deep Space has sent us another message. This time, NASA has a crystal clear picture of it. The agency just released a stunning new image of 3i Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever found. It shows us a tiny wanderer from another star system as it braves the intense heat of our sun. We know that it was losing 150 kilograms every second in the direction of the, sky, of the sun. The thing nobody tells you is that this isn't just about a pretty picture. The data coming from this object is weird, to put it mildly. Its composition raises more questions than answers, suggesting the star system it came from is unlike anything we've ever imagined. A speed that defied physics. Automated alerts pinged observatories across the planet. Within hours, astronomers began frantically tracking its position, logging each new data point, and running complex orbital calculations. The numbers pouring in all told the same, shocking story. This was no ordinary comet or asteroid from our own backyard. Its path was a perfect hyperbola. In simple terms, that means it wasn't circling our sun like a planet or a normal comet. Instead, it was slicing straight through our solar system on a one-way journey, like a bullet fired from deep space. That single fact set it apart from the billions of other objects bound by the sun's immense gravity. The thing nobody tells you is how rare a discovery like this is. The object's incoming trajectory pointed back toward the dense star fields of Sagittarius, a region crowded with the blazing central stars of the Milky Way galaxy. It was coming from the heart of our galaxy. Early measurements confirmed what the orbital model suggested. The object, now officially named 3I Atlas, was moving way too fast to ever return. It was a true interstellar visitor, only the third one ever confirmed, following the bizarre cigar-shaped Oumuamua in 2017 and the more conventional comet Borisov in 2019. Each new observation tightened the calculations, locking in its hyperbolic excess velocity, the scientific term for, it's not from around here. This was proof that 3i Atlas was forged far, far from our solar system, possibly in another stellar nursery millions or even billions of years ago. As the news spread like wildfire through the scientific community, a desperate scramble began. Telescopes, both amateur and professional, swiveled to capture every possible photon of light from this ghost before it slipped past the sun and vanished forever back into the cold, dark void of deep space. The urgency was palpable. A hyperbolic orbit means scientists have an incredibly brief window, just a few months, sometimes only weeks, to study raw, pristine material from another star system up close. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was the sheer luck of the detection. The Atlas team's quick discovery, combined with a rapid global follow-up, made it possible to confirm its interstellar origin beyond any doubt. With that certainty, the focus shifted. Every astronomer on the planet wanted one thing, the sharpest, clearest image possible, especially as 3i Atlas approached the sun, where intense glare and solar interference threatened to erase the precious details forever. The stage was set for a historic race against time and physics, with the prize being a once-in-a-generation look at a true galactic wanderer. But the true nature of this traveler was still a complete mystery. A global manhunt for light. Within minutes of the Atlas alert hitting the network, a wave of pure adrenaline swept through the global astronomy community. This wasn't just a job for the big observatories with billion-dollar equipment. You see, the call went out to everyone. Amateur sky watchers in Australia, Poland, and South Africa began posting their own confirmation images online. It was a stunning display of citizen science. Some of these pictures were snapped with backyard telescopes barely a foot across, while others came from university class equipment operated by students. Online forums and private messaging groups lit up like a Christmas tree, as coordinates and finder charts were shared in real time across continents and time zones. The sense of urgency was obvious to anyone watching. Everyone wanted a piece of this rare cosmic event before 3i Atlas slipped too close to the sun to be tracked from Earth. Citizen science networks kicked into high gear. Volunteers on platforms like Zooniverse began sifting through terabytes of archived survey data, hunting for pre-discovery sightings that could stretch the timeline of observations back by days or even weeks. 
What many overlooked is that every single observation, no matter how small, helps refine the object's path. Sky and Telescope's online community quickly mapped the object's frantic motion, plotting its path across the star fields of Sagittarius. Each new data point tightened the orbital solution, helping to confirm its hyperbolic escape trajectory with absolute certainty. This wasn't just a hobby. This was crucial data. Meanwhile, professional astronomers weren't waiting for official schedules or formal requests. Observatories in the high deserts of Chile, on the volcanic peaks of Hawaii, and in the Canary Islands of Spain, immediately reprioritized their targets, squeezing in short exposures between storm clouds and the approaching sunrise. Teams coordinated across time zones, handing off the observational baton as darkness fell on one part of the globe and rose on another. The European Southern Observatory logged a series of images just hours after the initial discovery, then relayed their results to NASA's Minor Planet Center for Rapid Fire Orbit Calculation. In Japan, a group of high school students using a public observatory managed to catch the object's faint, ghostly streak against the stars, adding another crucial data point to the global effort. It was a beautiful thing to witness. The collective effort paid off spectacularly. By the end of the first week, hundreds of observations had poured in from more than two dozen countries. This was science without borders, a shared human endeavor driven by pure curiosity and the raw thrill of discovery. This visitor from another star had, for a moment, united the world. With the orbit locked down, all eyes turned to one single telescope, a portrait from 277 million miles. The baton was about to pass from the world's amateurs to the single most powerful telescope humanity has ever put into orbit. On July 21, 2025, the Hubble Space Telescope's Wide Field Camera 3, a marvel of engineering, captured a single frame that would soon be described by both NASA and the European Space Agency as the sharpest ever image of 3i Atlas near the Sun. At that exact moment, the object was a staggering 277 million miles from Earth. It was still inbound, but already racing toward the solar glare that would soon make it completely invisible to ground-based telescopes. The thing nobody tells you is just how difficult a shot like this is. The challenge was formidable, imaging a faint, fast-moving interstellar comet against the overwhelming, blinding brightness of the inner solar system. Every single photon of light counted, and every stray glint from the sun threatened to drown out the signal completely. It was like trying to photograph a firefly next to a searchlight from miles away. The Hubble engineering team relied on a whole suite of technical innovations to pull this off. The WFC-3 instrument, designed for both visible and near-infrared imaging, used a combination of ultra-sensitive detectors and precisely tuned filters to isolate the comet's faint light from the noisy background of space. But the hardware alone wasn't enough to get the job done. The real breakthrough came from the data pipeline on the ground. Scientists used advanced image stacking algorithms that could align and combine multiple exposures, correcting for both the comet's rapid motion across the sky and the tiny, unavoidable jitter of the telescope itself. Each raw frame was calibrated, digitally cleaned of instrumental noise, and then registered to the comet's shifting position. Only after this intense digital stacking did the faint nucleus and its diffuse coma the halo of gas and dust, emerge in crisp, unbelievable detail. It revealed a structure that was totally invisible to earlier generations of telescopes. Solar glare suppression played an equally critical role. Hubble's sunshade and its pointing protocols were pushed to their absolute limits, minimizing stray light and maximizing the contrast of the image. The team ran real-time simulations to predict the comet's apparent position, ensuring that the brief window for safe, High contrast imaging wasn't missed by even a second. In the final, breathtakingly processed image, the nucleus stands out as a sharp point of light, estimated to be less than a mile across. It's surrounded by a delicate, symmetrical halo of dust, clear evidence of ices vaporizing as the object neared the intense heat of the sun. Compared to the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, and its successor Borisov, this image represents a monumental leap in both clarity and scientific usefulness. Earlier efforts produced only blurred tracks or unresolved smudges. Here, 
for the very first time, astronomers could examine the structure of an interstellar comet's coma and nucleus as it interacted with solar radiation. The result is not just a technical milestone. It's the foundation for every study that will follow, a testament to the engineering and teamwork required to capture a fleeting visitor from beyond our solar system. But just as we got our best look, the visitor was about to disappear. The robotic watchers. Solar conjunction is always a nightmare for astronomers. As 3i Atlas swept toward its closest point to the sun, an event called perihelion, on October 30th, 2025, Earth-based telescopes hit a hard, immovable wall. The sun's glare didn't just wash out the faint interstellar visitor, it made direct observation completely and utterly impossible. You see, for weeks, the object passed directly behind the solar disk from our perspective, lost in a blinding zone where even the most sensitive detectors were totally overwhelmed with light. This period creates a frustrating blackout for ground and near-Earth space telescopes like Hubble. The timing, to put it mildly, could not have been worse. Just days before the celestial vanishing act, on September 25th, a massive coronal mass ejection erupted from the sun. A CME is a gigantic explosion of solar plasma, and this one sent a powerful wave of charged particles hurtling through the very region of Space 3i Atlas was about to cross. What many overlooked was the immense danger this posed. There's no easy way to know in real time what effect that violent solar storm had on the comet's fragile icy surface or its tenuous coma. Did it rip the comet apart? Did it cause a massive outburst of gas? With Earth's view completely blocked, the only hope for continuous data came from robotic spacecraft positioned at different vantage points in the solar system. Solar probes, Mars orbiters, and deep space missions that could watch from an angle the sun didn't obscure. The risk of missing out on crucial changes, fragmentation, sudden jets of gas, or shifts in brightness, was terrifyingly real. Every gap in the data meant a lost chance to see a rare interstellar object react to the sun's most extreme forces. That's precisely why mission planners pushed for coverage from every available off-axis asset, racing the clock as 3i Atlas slipped behind the sun and into the unknown. Mars took center stage, as the comet swept past the red planet on October 3rd, it came within about 28 million miles. That's close enough for orbiters like the European Space Agency's Mars Express, NASA's MAVEN, and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to train their powerful cameras and spectrometers on a true interstellar visitor. For a brief window, these spacecraft had the best seat in the solar system, unhindered by the sun's glare. But Mars wasn't the only backup plan. As 3i Atlas vanished from Earth's view, an entire fleet of robotic eyes turned to watch its perilous journey. These were our sun-watching sentinels, and they were our last hope for answers. The veteran SOHO probe, a joint effort by NASA and the European Space Agency, kept a steady watch. It used its specialized coronagraph to block out the sun's blinding disk, creating its own artificial eclipse to track the intruder. At the same time, the Stereo A spacecraft, orbiting far ahead of Earth, offered a completely different angle. It gave scientists a crucial side-on perspective, tracking the comet as it skirted the solar limb in a way no telescope on Earth ever could. Even our most daring explorers, the Parker Solar Probe and the Solar Orbiter, missions designed to fly right up to the sun's fiery surface, managed to capture critical snapshots. This incredible feat was only possible through unprecedented international coordination. Teams at NASA, ESA, and their partners in Japan and Russia shared observation schedules and data pipelines in real time. While Earth's telescopes went dark, the story of 3i Atlas was pieced together by these distant robotic observers, each filling a vital gap in the narrative from the silent void of space. Is 3i Atlas just a stray piece of another solar system, or could objects like it be deliberately sent? Let us know your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.